Hey, folks. We're back. Hope everybody's had a good weekend. I've been busy here on the farm today. Uh, working. I started out about 9 o'clock this morning. Down there working on that fence line. Old fence that my grandfather put up. Lord, it's probably the fence that's what's left is probably as old as I am. Trying to <clears throat> prep another acre or so for my goats to, you know, graze in and uh, to keep it clean. So I've had a very productive day here. Uh, Monday is one of my days off. I'm off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And, uh, I worked at my mom's house uh, about three hours Saturday and come home, took a nap, and pfft, woke up and it's dark. <laughs> but um, so today, I worked here on the farm, got my tractor out, first one thing and another. So it's been a real good day. It was a little chill, chilly starting the day, but other than that, it was good. Um, got some great news today. Mailbox Monday. The things that come in the mailbox. Now, if you've been following my channel for any time, you know that I host Purple Martins here at the farm. Now, when I say farm, it's five acres. It's not some big spread. But, Troyer's Birdhouse, uh, Troyer's Birds of Paradise. Now, there's no of in there. There should be an of that would roll off the tongue much easier. Troyer's Birds Paradise, LLC. And that bird right there, that's the adult Purple Martin. And I don't know if you can see in that picture, but he had a band on his leg. That that bird was banded at one of Troy's sites 10 years ago. That bird has migrated. Uh, I think he's in Pennsylvania. I think it's where he lives. From Pennsylvania to Brazil 20 times. Brain can't be much bigger than the tip of my finger. If you're thinking about getting in Martins, they got stuff in here for bluebirds too, I'm pretty sure. Yes, bluebirds too. So if you want to get in bluebirds, you know, look them up. If, uh, if you need some information, let me know. I'll try to drop a link. Uh, let's see. Ooh, yes. And what else? Steiner tractor. If you have an old tractor, you need a Steiner, Steiner tractor catalog. I mean, it's got every breed of tractor in it. You can imagine. It's got holes in it to go in a three-ring bound um, notebook. Of course, you know, my tractor's a 1972 model, so it's 50, ooh, it'll be 51 this year. Wow. So when you have to do work on them, and believe me, you do from time to time, excellent place to find tractor parts. I'll drop a link to that, too. Okay, and of course, this didn't come in the mail today, but I'm reading and watching Jimmy Houston. I encourage anybody who's wanting to uh, try to better themselves this year, like I myself am. Uh, I'm a spiritual man, but, you know, I'm still trying to better myself each and every day. Uh, catch a better life. Jimmy Houston. Look him up. He's got a great uh, YouTube channel where he goes, he reads from this every day. I read along with him. It's, you know, five minutes, something like that. So this is something else that I'm not going to drop this. <laughs> I, I, this is a gift from my wife. So, yes, we had a very productive day here on the farm. Oh, and guess what else come in the mail today? Look at there. Can you read it? It's called Autumn Evening. And I think the first time I mentioned this, that I was going to get me some of this stuff, I may have called it... Uh, uh, summer's Eve. I don't know. My wife corrected me. I am so sorry. But yes, this is Autumn Evening. It's from Cordell and Deal. I've already taken a little uh, sample of it. When I get done with this, I'm going to fire another bowl of it up. Uh, but yeah, that had just been the the deal here on the farm today, just exciting stuff. Oh, went and got the oil chain on my truck, $111 later. Can you believe that? I mm. uh, got my banjo out. I'm going to practice that a little bit here and very, very shortly. Um, but y'all, y'all might 
remember that I've talked about, you know, I started reading through the Bible. I've got one of my dad's Bibles here. He had very, uh, he had, I don't know how many he had. Uh, there was five that uh, I went through and picked out the one that I wanted. And uh, it's been very um, inspirational to sit here and read, and read my dad's Bible and uh, see places that he had highlighted. And I, I'm, people, I, I'm not lying to you. This is, this is how Daddy left it. I mean, he, he left uh, markers in there. And uh, I can't wait to get to those pages and, and see and try to figure out why Daddy, uh, you know, left these markers in here. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's priceless. I wouldn't take a billion dollars for this Bible. And, uh, you know, it's just... Uh, and he's he's made notations in it, and you know I've <laughs> I always thought growing up you shouldn't write in your Bible, but you know um, of course we as taught as kids not writing any book. But anyway, uh, I remember uh, Dr. Seuss book. I did some coloring in it and got in a little bit of trouble over that. So, uh, but yeah, um, I'm I'm really getting a lot out of reading through Dad's Bible here, and so I encourage everyone uh, to um, to get an, a reading plan of some sort some sort started. Uh, I'm reading from the King James Version. You can read anything you want to. Uh, you can go online, uh, uh, BibleGateway.com. Yeah. But yeah, so that has been the excitement here on the farm today. Um, like I said, good day to get out and, and work. It's like 53 degrees. I did some work in the beehives. Got stung by one of them heifers. I don't know if you can see the red mark right there. Winter bees can really put a mark on you. Uh, I think they've saved up their venom so long. And, I mean, that gal come out beehive like Jason Bourne. And, I mean, she popped me. One got me on the leg, but that's nothing new. I'm a beekeeper. I'm used to getting stung. So, uh, but, yeah, I just wanted to uh, take this little bit of time to uh, to talk about some, some things. Um, like I said, reading over here in the Old Bible, the Old Testament, and uh, about Abram. Abraham, you know, his name was changed, and Noah and the flood, and all other stuff, and, you know, uh, it's just been um, very uh, thought-provoking, and, uh, you know, I've always thought that the the rainbow, well, I, I'm just going to be honest with you, uh, I was understanding that the rainbow was God's promise that he wouldn't destroy the world with water again, but the way I read it is to remind God not to do that. So, you know, we're always just this close from uh, annihilation. Not by the Russians, not by the goo-haws or the hee-haws, but, you know, just uh, our, our lives are so, so delicate and so precious that we should always try to strive to have a reading program, have something like that. So, anyway, like I said, I, um, I'm going to uh, light up this uh, Autumn Eve. And let me tell you something. All the reviews read about it, true. And if you've never tried it, I suggest you get you some Autumn Eve. Is it Autumn Eve or Autumn Evening? Evening, I'm sorry. Autumn Evening, yes. And Greg, I'll be bringing you some. So you can try it out too. But, so my next um, acquisition, acquisition for, um, my pipe uh, collection. I'm gonna be getting some uh, stems for these, these two, a corn cob, and I forget what that one was. It's a, uh, it's, it's neat looking. But this is a, this is a uh, Missouri Meersham, Meersham corn cob, and uh, I'm gonna get a stem for that. Get it uh, operational. I blew my pipe. My lighter out. You leave that crap. So. Oh, and uh, maybe by Wonderful Wednesday, I'll play the banjo some more. Um, practice it a pretty good bit over the last couple of days. So uh, maybe Wonderful Wednesday, I'll try to pluck it a little bit more. So there you have it. Just something simple, fast. No, uh, no big hurry, no big weights. But just tell you how things here are on the farm. Oh, and uh, my Martins. We're less than a month away. 
well, we're about a month away. I think the, the earliest I've ever seen them come back here is like February 12th. And the reason I can remember that is my son's birthday, and that's the earliest I've ever had them return here to North Georgia. They're already in uh, South Florida. Yeah, I get a, I follow a page on Facebook, and uh, they've already made it to South Florida, and uh, they go all the way to Canada. And they, yeah, it's a pretty neat thing. So uh, I appreciate everybody stopping by. I hope everybody's had a good day. I hope everybody has a good week and all that happy jazz. And uh, we'll just see y'all hopefully on Wonderful Wednesday, if not. I'll see you shortly thereafter, I promise you.